Question 16. The figure is formed by five identical semicircles. Part A, what is the diameter of each semicircle? Part B, you are supposed to find the perimeter of the figure. Now, to solve this question, I'm going to highlight in red a line across the figure. And making use of the semicircles above and below the red line, I'm going to form two equations to help me solve um, part A. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to first label D for diameter. If you were to make use of the three semicircles above the red line, you realize that it's made up of three diameters and two 12 cm here. So with that, I can form the first equation. So we have 3D plus 12 plus 12 is equal to 3D plus 24. This is the equation for the dimension of the red line. Okay, now I'm going to make use of the two semicircles below. But before that, let me just remove this. Cancel this to 12 away. I'm just going to highlight in green to represent the diameter for the semicircle below the red line. So there's another one here. So they are 2D. So um, together with 22 and 16 and another 22 here, we can form another equation to represent the dimension of the red line like this. So we have 2D plus 22 times 2 plus 16 that will give me 2d plus 60 so with these two equations i can equate them together and solve part a because they refer to the dimension of the red line so part a 3d plus 24 is equals to 2d plus 60 so from here you can further simplify the equations by using the balancing beam so this is how you use balancing beam you can actually remove 2d from the right side of the equation and then you remove 2d from the left side as well so we are left with d here and then you remove 24 from the left side make sure you remove 24 from the right side and you should get 36 here so that's how we get diameter equals to 36 cm let's move on to part b Part B, you are supposed to find the perimeter of the figure. So to do that, if you look closely, there are five semicircles. So five semicircles combined together will give you two and a half circles. I will just um, take two and a half times pi. I will leave pi as pi until the last step. And then uh, D will be 36 because it's derived from the answer in part A. So when you do that, you should get 90 pi. All right. So 90 pi refers to the lines that I'm highlighting in red. To find the entire perimeter of the figure, don't forget to add 22 here, 12 here. 16 here, another 12, and another 22 here. Alright, so I'm going to just uh, write down the equation for part B 90 pi plus 22 times 2 plus 12 times 2 plus 16. That will give you the answer. Alright, so if you use your calculator, the answer is pretty long. That's why they got you to round off your answer to two decimal places. And this is what you should do. Put approximately equals to 366.74. Okay, so this is how you present your workings and the answers in an elegant way. Do not forget to write down the units of measurement. For part A, it will be 36 cm. And then for part B, it should be 366.74 cm as well.